Edgewater Recovery Center is hoping to locate a new facility in Pikeville, and the plan, while welcomed by some, has prompted concerns from some of the residents of Pikeville Cedar Creek community where the facility is proposed to be located. Later, we have 106 beds in Rowan County with six locations, full support of the community. The Pikeville City Commission hosted Thursday's discussion between Edgewater administrators and some of the residents of Cedar Creek. Edgewater is hoping to locate a recovery center in the former Kinzer property on Cedar Hills. The goal is to have around a dozen patients in recovery once the facility opens. The organizers say they want to help those seeking treatment for addiction. You know, we're just we're trying to give back to something that's very, very important to us. Uh, Eastern Kentucky and Pike County has a very special place in my heart. Uh, my recovery kind of unfolded here uh, several years ago and it's always been um, just my desire to give back to Eastern Kentucky. Uh, you know, we're here to, to try to make a difference in the community, not to harm the community in no way, shape, or form. Um, that we, you know, we've been in Rowan County for um, over two years. We, we faced kind of the similar concerns when we, when we opened there, and um, you know, two years later, we're uh, kind of welcomed in the community with open arms. I would have liked, left if someone had told me about this a little earlier. Considering but not everyone in Cedar Creek is welcoming of Edgewater. While everyone agreed that recovery centers are needed, some residents of Cedar Creek, one of the more well-to-do communities in Pikeville, wondered why Edgewater chose their neighborhood for their facility. Others simply stated they do not support the idea. We agree there's a need, but there is lots of property in the county and the city that could be used as alternative locations, and that's what we would like to see. We, we want it to, in a, another location. We would support a facility of this type, but just in another place. I just, I'm really struggling, sitting here struggling, trying to understand why, these, why this house, why our community? I am against this. I don't like the idea that uh, we are going to have this type of facility in a residential community where people walk a lot. It's a lot of people in Pike will go through that area. They also come across the gap there from the Y because there's a trail up through there. Uh, I just do not think it is a good thing to put where you all are asking to put it. Do we need these facilities? Yes, Pike County needs them. We just don't need them in Cedar Creek. Thank you. I'm fairly certain that uh, if we were putting this in a uh, poorer side of Pike County, we wouldn't be here tonight. Y'all can, that's the bottom, we can cut to the chase. That's it. We would not. There's actually already residential centers located in Pike County that have trailer parks right beside of them. There was no special meeting for that. All right. It, it, they're already in existence. Uh, there's already some boxing clinics in Pike County. There was no special meeting for it. Why? Because they didn't decide. I believe in the Kinsers. I don't think they would harm our community whatsoever. Again, I'm not saying yes or no to Cedar Creek. I'm just saying that if, if the Kinsers and if uh, Barry has anything to do with it, then it's going to be a first-class facility. People who are coming to this facility are coming there to get clean. I hear lots of concerns about, you know, the types of people that are coming in and what they're going to be bringing into that area. Okay, they're not bringing anything except themselves and some hope. And there was a time that I would have been, I could have been on the inside of it, but the dude facts in my life and what I've had to live through and what I've seen out of addiction, going to millions of meetings, going to multiple treatment centers. I think it's the best thing that happened to this community, but that don't mean you all have to think that, and I've been right where you're at if you don't think that. There's, there's a couple of things about the Cedar Creek location. Uh, one of my the co-owners with me in Edgewater Recovery actually um, already has a property there and that property has been sitting there not in use for some time. Uh, it's, it's, even though it's in Cedar Creek, it's actually very isolated in Cedar Creek. Uh, but it's also 
close enough to the services that the people we serve may need that we are unable to offer on site, such as any type of medical services, um, dental services, the things that, 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 that the, our clients may need. We certainly understand that we're never going to be able to please everyone. The people that we serve, the people suffering from the disease of addiction, um, there's already a great stigma associated with that and, and, and they certainly feel like no, everyone's against them. So it's very important to the people that we serve that we build a, a, a healthy relationship with the community. Um, you know, these are, these are people. I mean, they're, they're, they're not bad people trying to get good. They're, they're sick people that are trying to get well. Pikeville attorney Rusty Davis told the crowd at Thursday's meeting that the former Kinzer house is zoned for commercial and residential use, clearing the way for Edgewater to use the property. Edgewater's administrators say if the facility causes problems in Cedar Creek once it's open, they will close down the facility and move out. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Chris Anderson.